In this video, we will create a tile layout plan for a kitchen with an adjoining breakfast nook. We start by creating a rectangle with the width and length set to the outer dimensions of the tiled area. Next, we transfer the measurements for our walls and entryways using the dimension tool. With the fill color set to match the wall color, we then select the rectangle tool and draw the walls. Your floor plan will only be as good as your measurements, so be sure they are accurate. We recommend measuring distances from multiple points in case your walls are out of square. The next step is to add the obstructions that we will have to tile around, in this case the kitchen cabinets. Since we plan to tile the floor under the appliances, we leave those spaces open. To add the obstructions, set the fill pattern to match the cabinetry. In this case, we use an image of the wood grain taken from a photo. Transfer the measurements for the cabinetry as we did for the walls and draw the cabinet outlines using the rectangle tool. Now we are ready to add our tile. Select Tile Fill from the Fill Style menu. Then select the desired tile pattern, tile colors, tile sizes, grout width, and grout color, and click OK. Next, select the Tile Scroll tool and click and drag on the tiled area to adjust the position of the tiles. Here, we experiment with different options to minimize slivers of tile along the edges. You may choose to place whole tile along edges where the eye is naturally drawn, or to center the tile in different areas within the room to see what is most appealing. In this case, we have chosen to place whole tile around the walls of the breakfast nook. Now that we have settled on the position of the main field tile, we can add the inlay for the breakfast nook. We start by zooming in and placing a rectangle in the center of the breakfast nook. Then we set the fill style for the rectangle to our desired tile pattern. Next, use the tile scroll tool to center the tile pattern within the rectangle. Finally, we select the tile pattern for our border and create four rectangles around the perimeter of the inlay. Our tile layout is now complete. From here, you can use Precision Tile Pro to calculate the number of tile required and other material quantities. To learn more, please visit our website at www.laurelcreeksoftware.com.